Well, our mission is to educate the public about uh, birds, other wildlife, and their habitat. You see, the Audubon Society is not uh, merely a birding organization. We try to educate uh, the public about the conservation in a broader context. But today we're going to explore a, a tract of land uh, that's owned by Hinkley Township. And uh, for the past year or two, we have been conducting bird surveys on this tract of land just down Route 303 um, because the township wants to um, use our data to help raise uh, grant money to um, build a little parking area there uh, so that the public can have greater access to it. We're going to take a walk, see what wildlife, birds, butterflies, insects. Um, we've been doing a little bit of a survey every um, season and, uh, well, it's supposed to be, be summer today, but it feels, certainly feels like fall. These uh, volunteers bring an expertise, uh, certainly in bird watching, in uh, looking at other avifauna, such as uh, dragonflies, and butterflies, and owls, uh, vegetation, and identifying the vegetation that grows here. Also being experts in water quality, um, expertise in, oh, I would say, uh, the management of nonprofit organizations. Running an organization like this uh, that has finances and that has responsibilities to the public uh, requires a, a, a lot of work. Yep, that would be nice to find. Mm -hmm. We're doing stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We, we're, we're out there, we're trying to protect not just the, the wildlife, but the habitat that the wildlife does desperately need. So preserving habitat is, is what it's about. Where we are right now, Hinkley, that is all private. Now these private parcels are subject to development if the owners chose to, uh, to sell to developers. And we would like for those owners to sell to the Metro Parks. And for that reason, we are working hand in hand with the Metro Parks to conduct surveys of birds and other wildlife it takes somebody who's willing to do the public outreach, to talk to the public about what's going on here, and uh, collect the data, and lastly, to um, tabulate the data and turn it into the Metro Park. So that takes a, about 30 or 40 people, all in all. It's not just a, a, another walk in the park.